possible to mix up Usain Bolt and Kevin Hart? Well, apparently, yes. The fastest man in the world and the hilarious comedian got mixed up on a Twitter post. NBC News shared a story about Usain Bolt testing positive for COVID. They accidentally used a picture of Kevin Hart. The good news is that they caught the mistake and updated the photo. However, not before the internet had some fun with it. Kevin Hart tweeted his response stating, I must have grown really fast and tall overnight. I want to take advantage of this moment and race anybody in the world. We can bet whatever. So, are you guys runners? Uh, but before we go into that, let me go ahead and introduce Miss Clara. Woo! Hello. How are Hi you doing, everyone. Clara? It's nice to be here. Are you a runner, Clara? Do you like to go out running? I told myself that I would go for a run at 6 a.m. and it just has not happened, so. I mean, COVID time, man. We're on COVID time these days. Yeah, so honestly, I'm not a runner at any point in the day. History continues to be made during the playoffs in the bubble. Giannis Adecampo will be winning the Defensive Player of the Year award, making him the fifth player to win both the MVP award and the Defensive Player of the Year in his career. Joining Kevin Garnett, Michael Jordan, David Robinson, and Hakeem Olajuwon. Some were not impressed, but big congrats to the big man himself. So are you guys following basketball right now? I'm not. What about you? No. <laughs> really? It's so much fun, though. You like, know, honestly, I do feel inspired to get into it. You know, yeah. it just brings that normalcy back. And, like, I just miss the interactions of, like, cheering on, you know? Yeah. I, I like what they're doing now with having the virtual fans um, and how it, like, pops up to different people. That way it kind of feels normal. Former girlfriend of Jeffrey Epstein, Ghislaine Maxwell, lost her bid to be moved into the general population in Brooklyn jail. Maxwell had objected to being treated worse than other other pretrial inmates at the Metropolitan Detention Center, citing onerous conditions, including round-the-clock surveillance, numerous body scans, and being isolated in her cell most of the time. But in an order on Tuesday, U.S. Judge Allison Nathan in Manhattan found no proof the surveillance measures were punitive or motivated by improper purposes. Prosecutors said isolation would help ensure the British socialites' safety. So do you think the uh, detention center is mistreating Ghislaine? I don't have enough information, but I, I trust that they took her concern seriously and investigated it properly. Um, at this point, I feel like she has to serve time and own up to her wrongdoings. I agree. I don't feel bad for her. Yeah. I'm, <laughs> I'm like, I'm sorry you get to be yeah. like surveillanced all day. Like, yeah, such I mean, a hard life. Well, happy National Doggy Day, people! Oh, yay! Yeah, okay. yeah. Besides celebrating that dogs are absolutely adorable. The purpose of National Dog Day is to bring light to the National Dog Day Foundation's goal of rescuing 10,000 dogs each year. So if you're thinking about adopting a dog, do it. What better time than doing it during quarantine? So. Obviously, I have a pet dog, and then I'm babysitting this one. This is Yoshi. You guys know Jingle. This is my baby, Pickle. Yeah. Say hi to the camera. He loves being on camera. And Clara, do you have any babies? I do. Look at these two right here. Oh, oh my goodness. What are their names? Dakota and Lola, and they're both boxer mixes. I just want to smush their faces. Boxers. Hurricane Laura that is currently striking Upper Texas and Western Louisiana has dramatically intensified literally from Category 1 to Category 4 overnight on Tuesday. Experts have predicted Laura could hit in between 10 to 15 feet of water with winds up to 120 miles per hour. Laura could be the largest hurricane to hit since Irma in 2017. Have you experienced a hurricane or volunteered to help? I've never volunteered to help. I've always wanted to volunteer to help. What about you, Clara? So not with a hurricane, but I do live in California and there are a ton of fires near me. So over the weekend, I volunteered at my ranch and I helped walk horses around just so that they can move a bit. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh my gosh, I feel so inspired to get involved myself. That's great. Yeah, so fortunately our barn is protected at the moment, but a lot of other ranches are in danger of fires coming too close for comfort. So we're offering to take in a lot of the horses right now. And because of the smoke, horses can't really exercise to the point where they're inhaling a lot of that smoke, but they still need to move. So we have to walk them by hand at the moment. Anyone watching the show own a Fitbit watch? Well, the next upgrade of Fitbit Sense smartwatch will be able to manage your stress levels with the temperature of your skin. This water resistant device up to 50 meters can also give you a detailed heart rate scan and sleep and activity tracking. I don't know about you, but I would love for a watch 
should tell me if I'm stressing out over nothing. So do y'all own Fitbits? No, but I actually just took my Apple Watch <laughs> or like brought back the Apple Watch. And I'd have to say that just having it on me almost increases my stress levels just because of the notifications and feeling like technology is taking over my life even more so. But um, I mean, that sounds pretty cool. And for the folks that like Fitbit, like this sounds like the watch for you. What are some ways that you guys manage your stress? I try to breathe. I think that's the number one thing to do. And I, I will say it is pretty effective when it coaches you through the breathing, like it expands and then it comes in. Um, I'd also like being outdoors when I can that helps reduce my stress levels. What about you, Kelsey? Breathing also, you know, and then just doing what I need at the time. You know, I have a handful of, I love dancing, I love music, I love outside, I love yoga. So I kind of like, will be like, okay, what am I in the mood for right now? You know what I mean? Do I need like some bumping up music, like bumping and grinding, or do yeah. I need to like go on a quiet walk, you know? Yeah. So I kind of like pick what I need. Yeah, and it's awesome that we're talking about this too on National Dog Day, but it's scientifically proven that if you just just cuddle or pet your dog for a little bit, it decreases your stress level and it releases endorphins. Thank you so much for tuning into Ibblebit. My name is Sherry, this is Jingle, this is Yoshi. This is Pickles. You're Kelsey. I'm Kelsey, <laughs> I'm Kelsey Cosmala. And then of course, let's thank Clara for joining thank us. Thank you so much for having me, you guys. I've really enjoyed this. Awesome. Woo well, thanks guys, we'll see you next time. Happy Bye. doggy day. Happy doggy Go day. Go adopt a dog. Bye, Clara. Bye. Bye, you guys.